Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have a ton of glittery, bizarre, weird products in front of me, super strange items that I cannot wait to test out. We are going to dive into everything that might not be like for the day to day, just to kind of see, does this work? Does it not? We're gonna go the full mile. It's a rainy day here in Washington. I am cozied up. I am prepared to get in it. And uh, let's just like, let's just start. Wow. Also, if you enjoy this kind of a video, be sure to like it. You can't dislike it. Hey, uh, I'm actually so into that, by the way. Every time I ask about it, it starts like a bizarre conversation of like, no, I miss it. No, conspiracy theory. No, I want it back. Yes, I, I don't know. For me, I am loving it. Okay, like this video if you like it. And also subscribe, ring the bell, yay. All right, let's dive on in. We're gonna start with the Brow Trio. I have been wanting to try one of these for a hot minute. I have seen people in the beauty community have great success with it, but then I look at my eyebrows and I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, right. So this is one of those where you go into the pomade, stamp, 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 and then you put on the, wow, wish I had brows like that, little guy, and you stamp, stamp, stamp. I have to share with you guys, like moment of truth. I know I do a lot of these videos, maybe like once a month. I just like doing them. And it's because it gives me a reason to buy weird products. Otherwise I wouldn't have one. So thank you so much to those of you out there that first off DM me messages on IG and you're like, hey, check this out. And I'm like, what? I've never seen that, so cool. I end up spending some cash that way through reading your DMs. I'm loving it, keep them coming. Okay, time out. Why are there so many different, is this all the same? No, low arch medium, huh? Okay, I think I want the regular arch, high arch, nope. Low arch, small. Am I a low arch? Regular arch. Oh, I wish in my wildest high arch, small. Yeah, right. Okay. I'm sure you can gather by now if you're new here. Uh, hello, I'm Tati. I don't really like my eyebrows. So I try to buy all sorts of weird things to fix the problem. Maybe I should get them microbladed like officially, officially. I don't know. I would like to wake up and have them like done. Like that would be a dream, right? I'm gonna go with regular arch medium. And this is the shade soft brown. And this is once again, the brow trios kit, if you are curious. So I've got it on the little spongy thing. I'm going for it. I feel like I'm on IG, but it's not as cute. Stamp, 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 stamp. And we're stamping. And we're stamping, stamping, hoping for the best. Survey says it took off my foundation. Survey says it didn't really do too much. Wow, like, hello, maybe do this before you put on foundation, but then, oh my gosh, this is the dilemma. If you have your brows on and you're like a foundation foundation girl, like today I am wearing Dior Air Flash, like that would not have worked. If I had my brows and I'm like, Ch -ch -ch, you know, it just like wouldn't have worked. So like, what are you to do? Dilemma. I know, just fill your brows in with a brush. This is really awkward. Stamp, stamp, stamp. Stamp, 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 stamp. Stamp, stamp, stamp. How do people do this is what I wanna know. Do I just have a weird shaped face? I really wanted that to work. It's kind of like ruined my makeup. I'm taking some of the pomade and just kind of, well, okay. Oh my gosh, sometimes when I do these videos and like I do something like this and it doesn't go well, I like all of a sudden, even though I'm not like hearing you guys in real time, this is not a live video, I'm not reading comments in real time, but I'm predicting that you guys are gonna tell me I did something wrong. I'm just, I feel like I did something wrong. Brow Trio, I will like off camera, maybe like closer to the mirror, play with the different stencils. If I figure it out where it's like, bam, this is so good, I will be sure to let you know. This thing is kind of interesting. It doesn't lay down like a ton of color. So that is kind of cool. Like it lays down a natural amount. 
However, placing that plastic thing just feels awkward to me. The brow pomade, I'm loving the color of it. I'm liking that I went a little bit thicker today. I wanna go into the cutest little guy right here. This is Oh My Star, Little Twin Stars, Wet n Wild, Shining Star. Now this is not the weirdest ever. It's a blush, a highlighter, but they have like a star highlighter in here. And I was like, now or never, I'm either gonna put it on today while trying weird products and hanging around the house or I'll probably never try it. So I'm gonna go in with a very profesh brush. We're gonna go in with a 6-4 Scott Barnes. I'm gonna first go into the blush because I have not done my blush yet today. The whole Wet n Wild collection PS smells exactly like walking into a Sanrio shop. It's bringing back so many memories. Like, like I want some of their gum. Oh, that gum, you guys, it loses its flavor in like 2.2 seconds, but that gum is like the I had such a thing for Sanrio candy when I was little, like the little rock candy, like shaped as stars and then the little Hello Kitty candies. Oh my gosh. We had one kind of near a movie theater growing up and we'd always go to the candy shop, but then I'd be like, I want to run into Sanrio and get some gum and get some candies. And it was like, oh, my favorite. It just, that whole store smells so good. This is a pretty blush. I'm kind of shocked that I like that. We're gonna move into a little bit of the highlight in the middle here. Okay, we're two for two. Wow. Uh, spoiler alert, I tested <laughs> some other products from this range and I did not like them at all, like at all. I will link below my disastrous new at the drugstore try on. I really went in with like so much excitement. I was so excited for all of this new makeup. And let me tell you, it went downhill fast. It was just not the day. It just was not. So anyway, um, I'm surprised that this is actually really pretty. Like it's a pretty pink, it's pretty punchy. It's very iridescent, but you kind of guess as much looking at the product itself. Um, now what I want to do is go into the little actual stars. Oh my gosh. We're just going to kind of go for it. You know, for if you have an occasion that calls for this, why not? If I were a child, I would be like, yes, give it all to me. I love that. I love iridescence. I feel like a five-year-old. I don't really care. You guys, I need a child. I ha I, I've I been trying for like a decade. It's a, it's a whole thing. But like I just, arts and crafts and iridescence and stickers and glitter, it does not bore me, I guess is what I'm saying, is I think that I would be that kind of parent that would be very hands-on and excited in process of learning and getting excited over the small things because just even this is like, it's so pretty. Um, I was not gonna do this, but I'm gonna go into the other palette. There are two of them. The blue one is called Sparkling Star, and I'm gonna do up the other side just to kind of really uh, have at it. There's a, a kind of rosy toned blush in here, so you still get like a very wearable blush, but this one is more of like the icy blue highlight, so we'll just pop that on top. See how that goes, that's kind of cute. Going into the blue glitter right here, and let's just kind of see you know i was gonna go to starbucks after this so you know that should be fun Ooh. <laughs> i just like it okay um i don't know why i'm trying to come up with excuses i just like it the way it looks or something i i mean why do i like glitter so much it's a mess it's a little juvenile, like mix matchy, kind of tacky, but I love it. Anything shiny, I'm just like, ooh. I mean, from my nails, which I just redid today, these are stickers again. I'm kind of really big into a sticker phase. Dashing Diva is what I have been wearing exclusively, but I'm testing out a new company. There are a lot of different brands that do these stickers. These ones so far, I really like they were easier to put on, but I worry before I recommend them that they might wear down faster. Let me know in the comments below if you are a nail sticker fanatic, specifically over the glitters what are your favorite brands that you have tried? I am wanting to try them all. Moving on, I'm gonna pop something on the lips really quickly. And I just wanna give like a really good insert first before I mess it up because this is so 
It is so beautiful. I bought this at Ulta. I do not need it. I don't need it. It probably is gonna make my lips look magenta pink. I already have a feeling because it is a color changing type of a little number, but I could not stop staring at it. And I was like, whoa. This is so, like seriously, this is so pretty up close. This is the Glimmer Glow Lipstick Color Changing from Essence. Let's go ahead and pop this on. Ooh, it leaves a little bit of the um, flex. I was not expecting that. You know what? That's actually really pretty. And let me make my ugly lipstick face. I'm gonna be that old lady. Actually, no, let me not make you imagine me old. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> Cause whenever I do that, then I get like comments. They're like, you're already old. I'm like, yeah, I know, whatever. It's fine. Just put more on, just put more on. We're gonna give that a minute. Let's get into something wild. You guys, this is like, <laughs> I was sitting on the floor this morning going through all of my weird stuff. I had a bin of like weird products. And I don't wanna overload you guys with like so much of it. So like, you know, I kind of pick and choose. This one I've had for a minute. This is from Fun Cosmetics. You guys, like the little thing that it comes in, it is so relaxing to look at this. Are you just somewhere else right now? Because I am. It's like a snow globe of holographic goodness. And we're putting it on our eyes, not the stuff in the top. It's like a very dramatic, like, oh my gosh, will you marry me? Ah! Like it's literally the most dramatic, um, for an eyeshadow, it looks silver. Let's see if this is up to the hype. It's like very, very fine, fine, fine holographicness. I almost wanna put like my phone light on it. Is that, oh, wow, it just came to life. Okay, let's see if it, does it do that right here? Can you see a little more? I'm gonna have to like do an insert where I'm like showing you guys. Wow, it's a rainbow. It is truly holographic. I wanna put down a little bit of shadow. And to do that, I'm gonna make sure that I don't get any fallout underneath my eyes with my cute little butterfly eyeshadow catchers. This is the dumbest purchase ever, but I was purchasing chroma makeup on um, she, she Glam, She In. This looks like a temporary tattoo, what is this? You guys know I like butterflies and this I thought was kind of like the cutest shadow catcher, I guess. Look, so that if you're putting like aggressive shadow on, I mean, it kind of looks like a bat wing, let's call it what it is. Okay, well, we're just gonna pretend <laughs> that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Are there two sides? I wanted this to be like a beautiful butterfly. Why won't you work? I'm kind of, oh, oh my gosh, there is another side. If you are doing a smoky eye, if you have an issue with fallout, if you're using loose glitter, if you're using a loose mineral product and you know you're gonna get that fluffiness everywhere, using something like this can be super helpful. How cute, okay? That actually is kind of cute. Is it supposed to go this way though? Or I guess they're wanting you to do it like this. That doesn't, that does not look like a butterfly to me. Um, and I don't know why you would do it like that. I think, okay, now we're back to it looking like a bat. Like this is like not a butterfly. This is like bat wings. Um, but I think you're gonna get more coverage from fallout like this. And I thought this was actually not a cream. So I was excited to use these with the holographic, not wanting to get that everywhere. But you know what, I uh, let's put on some eyeshadow. I kind of want to keep with the iridescent tea kind of theme with like the little glitters and everything I have going. So we're gonna go into Rose Quartz from Huda Beauty and I'm gonna go into the shade Radiate. This actually is a super pretty palette PS. I'm thinking about doing a rundown of palettes. I have a few that are newer that I have been testing out when I haven't been filming and I really like them. This one, if you are a cool tone fan and you like some really beautiful kind of unique iridescent sparkly shades, I do like it. Look how easy that blends. Like I don't really even need these fallout catchers because it is a pretty firm formula. I'm pretty long wearing too. Like I'm gonna give you a mini review and a review of something actually not like ha ha weird product that's actually good. I'm gonna go into Aura with the same brush. 
can kind of stamp the outer edge. This is my quick, easy way. You guys know one color in the crease, a little bit stamped on the outer edge and something a little more iridescent on the lid. So now I have that down. That took me like 2.2 seconds. I do want to point out that love story in this palette is so interesting here. I'm going to pat just a little bit on my lid over here so that you guys can see. Is that not kind of cool? It looks so strange in the palette. Like it looks Vaseline-y and bubbly or something. I don't know. I think it's a really cool one to have in the middle of a palette that just gives this nice gloss. And if you've wanted to try an eye gloss and you need some new eyeshadow, this is kind of like your all in one. It's just really, really neat. I'm gonna put another one of the Huda's on this eye and then we're gonna do the hollow on this eye just because why not? I wanna show you a little more of this palette in action. And I have already married myself to looking a little cuckoo today. So we have like the blue side, the blue iridescent side, and then we're gonna do the holographic on the other side. I'm gonna take my fingertip in here. Okay, new idea also, you guys, because YouTube has changed so much as far as like what I think would be fun to do. Part of me wants to get set up. Here, I'm gonna take these guys off surprisingly doesn't rip off too much of your makeup, which I'm gonna go ahead and say before I continue chatting with you all. These from She Glam, smash hit. Really, really like them. TMI back in the day story, real quick before I get back to the other story. Oh my gosh, my brain. I literally would chop up panty liners, like the cheap, cheap, cheap ones from like the 99, and I would have them in my kit and I would take the bottom part kind of moon shape and I would stick it on someone who I was doing a smoky eye if I didn't want the fallout. They didn't have these. So I kind of like makeshift made my own and everyone would laugh, but I'm like, no, it works. It will catch all of that. So the fact that they have these now, just kind of that you can order online and not pay a ton of money for, I think is pretty cool. And I have tried some from the drugstore, something guards or something or other. And those, like the tackiness, the stickiness on there is so sticky that it will rip all your makeup off and you even feel it kind of pulling at your skin. So I have tried a few different versions of this type of a product and I don't always like them. So I'm surprised that I do like the tackiness of these. Back to YouTube changing and yada yada. So I really kind of want to do lives I want to do just chit chat, new things come in the mail. Let's talk about it right away. Let's get ready together in real time. What do you guys think? Like if I did a once a week, couple of hours, like literally a couple of hours where we just hung out together, would you guys so love that? Or would that take away from my normal content? I'm just kind of thinking out loud because I really love just trying product in the moment like this, where we're just kind of chatting, looking, and I kind of wish I could get your immediate feedback of being like, should I put this on? Should I try that? Um, and I think that could be kind of fun. I don't have the correct setup for it just yet, but it's something in the new year, like new year's resolution, new year thing that I think I want to do. I'm doing it. I don't even care. Like I used to keep all of the things I wanted to do to myself and I would wait to announce it. But now I'm just like in the moment, like this is what I think I want to do. It could be fun. I'm looking for ways to kind of freshen up the excitement of makeup and community and all of that. So I think I want to do that. Where were we? I actually really like both eyes, like liner, lash, pretty, right? Fun cosmetics, fun lacquer. Um, they're known for their nail polish, but this is really good, I do. And it's not burning or scratchy or anything like that. It's actually really nice. Doesn't seem to be creasing. I am quickly off camera, gonna line and lash, BRB. Letting my lashes dry just a little bit. These are just double up kind of wispy lashes from Ardell. And normally, I super love them. I think probably because I'm wearing two different eye looks, I'm like, what is like, something's like kind of throwing me off. I used a black glue from Velour Lashes today, a little bit living on the edge. That can be dangerous sometimes. So what I wanna do now 
is dig in to one of these lip spec color changing lip oils to put on top of our color changing lip balm, which I have to say, this is probably my favorite one of them that I have ever tried. I keep looking in the mirror and I'm like, this is a really pretty pink, this guy right here surprising i'm shocked my mom loves the frog prince color changing guy from lipstick queen i did a video on the color changing blush and the lipstick way back when that was kind of a favorite product for a while of many i personally didn't like it i wasn't one of the many but everyone was trying it and it was like color changing this color changing that and ever since that video i kind of had this bad taste in my mouth like well it just gets too hot pink on me and i don't really like it but this is actually like, there's something about it that's really, really pretty that I do actually like. So now what I wanna do is go on top because more is more. This is a lip spec color changing lip oil lip switch from JCAT. They have different flavors. So there is looking pine. Do we really, does that, really? Oh, like pineapple. I'm in holiday mode. I'm like pine trees. Like, why would you, why would you want that? I'm fired. Okay. Uh, yep. Tra la la. We see the poinsettia in the background. I got my little pine here. Could use some ornaments. Um, I made a wreath. That was an eventful evening for me. I'm in the Christmas spirit. I did that. Okay, we all saw. So that smells really good, actually. Um, I do wanna go into this one here. Very impressive. I'm thinking they all probably do the same thing. They're clear, slightly tinted, but I'm guessing the base is the same. So I do wanna give these away and not hoard all of them for myself. I'll keep the pineapple and this one right here. My lips. Now that I went on with like five more layers of this to show you guys how much I like it, it is showing off that my lips are a little chapped. Ignore that. We're gonna put a little oil on top. How pretty is this wand though? That's the one thing with the color changing products is it will show you like, hey, you need hydration in this part of your mouth because it will kind of extra color change the areas that are a little more dry. I like it. I am actually having so much fun with this makeup today. All right, so I'm guessing, I'm gonna do a swatch on my hand of both to see if they change to different colors at all or if they'll even change on my hand swatched. They both look pretty clear. There's a subtle difference, but it's so minor. They're deepening up a little bit. Hmm. I don't know, this is getting much more hot pink. Okay, that's kind of fun and cute. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on freckles because today is the day. This is from Lottie London. I have always wanted to try this. To be honest, I want any freckling on my face off of my face because to me, it just looks like sun damage. Like I like freckles. I'm just saying for me, I'm always trying to cover things up. So it feels a little counterintuitive to be like, let's add it back on. But if I already have glitter everywhere, why not? Let's just like give it a little, is this kind of how people do this? No. That didn't work. Do you remember this was like a trend for a minute? Like people were legit doing this all the time. Yeah, no, I feel like when I tried to draw um, my dog's paw on my mom's birthday card and it didn't go well and there was no turning back is kind of how I feel right now. You ever try to do something, you're like, I'm, I, I'm expert, I can do that. No, <laughs> mm-mm. I feel like strawberry shortcake right now though. I'm just keeping going for, I don't even know what reason. James is gonna love this whole, this whole look so much, oh my gosh. And, for her final move today, we are going to set the face <laughs> with the Wet n Wild Twinkle Star Glow Face Mist because I want to know what it smells like, how shiny it is, why not. This is the Super Weird Products More is More edition, so let's go there. That actually smells so good. Ah. <sighs> You know what? I actually like this. That is delightful. Okay. I hope you guys had fun with me, kind of just playing, getting a little messy, getting our hands in it all. Let me know 
wow, it tastes like, it tastes sweet and candy-ish. That just like caught me by surprise. I don't recommend eating this. I'm just saying if you happen to breathe in heavily, the air is actually sweet. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. We got our hands in all of it, had a good time, at least I did, and I love these kind of videos, and I hope you guys do as well. Be sure to give this a thumbs up, leave me your comments, let me know what you think, let me know that you wanna see more of these, share the video, go have a good one. I love you all so much, and I'm gonna go wear my makeup. I'm gonna keep it on for a bit and do my day. All right, I love you guys, I will see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.